Hello guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Christian Shabi. I'm a real estate agent and investor. And I'm making this quick video um, because I've been getting some questions about comps from investors. And if anybody in real estate, you should know this. So when it comes to comps, comps are very simple. They're just other comparable properties in that area. So for example, um, let's use a property that I have now. I have a property on the west side on Sorrento and um, the ARV in the area is about 30,000 um, but I'm selling it for 23 um, but that's just that's it's another animal because it's Detroit Detroit the property values are crazy but if you're in the suburb city everybody lives there no burnt down houses things of that nature um, the comps would be more stable Detroit is a win you know it's, you, you may get good comps you may get bad comps um, so let's make it just simple. Um, let's say you have a house in a ARV area of a hundred thousand. Um, you get a motivated lead, of, and she wants to sell her house for eighty thousand. You want to make sure that the hundred thousand is correct. Here are your options. One, if you're an agent, you search the MLS, or if you're not an agent, you can use Realtor.com. You can use Zillow, Trulia. By using these options, uh, people be, oh, they're unreliable. Yeah, they are. But what you look at are solds. Remember solds. Never looked at active. I mean, you can just see, uh, get an idea, but don't, you know, rely on it. Um, solds are, are, are cash. You know, they'll, they'll give you a better idea. Um, so after you find the solds, either on the MLS or on Zillow or Trulia, the next step is to therefore research your property, see the square footage, year built, also see uh, the structure of the house, if it's brick, vinyl, um, also see if it's on a slab, if it's on um, you know a cross base, if it's got a full full basement, finished basement, half. You you need to know everything about your property, then compare it with like properties. So. Do not, you know, switch up. You know, if your house has three bedrooms, only look at houses that have three bedrooms. Do not compare it with four bedroom, two bedrooms, because um, you won't get a good comp. So that's basically the basics of it. Um, you know, just look for solds. And if you're finding that it's getting difficult for you, you may have to look at multiple sources of comps. So Use Trulia, Zillow. There's other companies you can pay for. Um, if you don't, you can call your agent or call a agent and ask him for comps. He may or may not do it for you. Uh, but those are your options, you know. So don't let that hold you back, not knowing the value of it. And sometimes you just got to use common sense, drive past the property and be like, for you, am I, you know, how much am I willing to pay for this house? Other neighbors have paid 40 as an investor I can't pay 30. I will have to pay lower than that because it needs tenant work. So these are questions you're going to have to ask yourself. And um, once you do that, you should be all set. So thank you guys again. Um, I hope this helped. If it was confusing, let me know. It's my first time doing it. And um, you guys take care.